Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and welcome to your 11th Microsoft Visual C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over the switch statement, which if you've learned Visual Basic, it's the same thing as the select case. So basically what the switch statement is, is it's a more efficient if else if statement. So if a condition is met, it's going to go ahead and exit all of um, the switch statement and it's not even going to look at the rest and it's going to uh, skip over it. So this is useful when you're comparing one variable to many values. So like we've done before, um, we compared name to um, Sam to Rick and other stuff. With a switch statement, you use one variable and compare that to a whole bunch of different values. And if one of those values is met, it's going to run code. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. You can see here that I have our program from the last time, except that I deleted some things. And what you need to do is you need to add console.writeLine and ask the user what their name is. And then you can see here I made string name and set it equal to console.readLine. Now you can see at the end I added dot to lower and empty parentheses. So basically what this does is it takes the string returned by console.readLine and converts everything in it to lowercase. So it'll make it easier to compare later on. And you can see I've got console.readline just so the program will pause before we're done. So we're going to start off by typing switch like you've seen there. And switch needs um, a variable that is put inside of the parentheses. So in our case, we're going to put name. Now switch is similar to a function in that it needs to be enclosed in curly braces or an if statement, which needs to be in enclosed in curly braces when it is longer than a one line if statement. So now we have switch name. What we need to do is create what's called cases. So we'll type case Sam. So if name is equal to Sam, then what do we want, what do we want to do? Well, we'll do what we did before. We'll just type console dot right line welcome you have root permissions. And at the end of every case, what you need to do is add what's called a break. Now, breaks are used a lot. They're used in switch statements, they're used in loops, and a bunch of other stuff that you'll learn later on. Now, basically what the break says is break out of this current switch statement. So what it's going to do is it's going to send the um, the program to this line right here which has this ending curly brace and it's going to be on the other side of it so that the next line it reads is console.readline so it's basically saying just exit this switch statement and go on to the next line of code now this break can be anywhere and when it's run it'll always take us to the end of the switch statement so we can make another case so we'll do case john and we need to add a colon here to say this is where our code's going to go so we'll do console dot right line welcome you have guest permissions and once again we need to break because if case is equal I mean if name is equal to John then we don't even need to look at what's left over in our switch statement so what if they typed in anything other than Sam or John well, what we need to do is create what's called a default case, which is similar to the else in the if else statement. So to do this, you just type default with a colon. So if name is equal to anything else, what do we want to do? Well, we want to do console dot right line. Um, let's just say access denied locking the system. And once again, we need to break that so that it will um, end the switch statement once we're done, uh, once we've found what we need. And by that I mean if name is equal to John, it'll run that and break. And if name is equal to anything other than Sam or John, it's going to run that and break and get out of that switch statement because we've come to the default case. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see here if I type Sam, it says welcome, you have root permissions. Now, if I type 
John says, it says, welcome, you have guest permissions. Now, one more time, I'll type something else like um, Pedro. Press enter, it'll say access denied, locking the system. And we can type whatever we want in there, and it'll always say access denied if it's not John or Sam. So go ahead, practice the switch statement. Um, it may be a little confusing at first, but once you practice with it and you get it down, you'll be able to regularly switch it out with if and if else's to make your program a bit more efficient. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.